How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Main Brew Guy YouTube channel uh, and website and slash blog. Uh, today we are going to be doing the final tasting of the Shipbuilder New England IPA. Uh, one was dry hopped with Galaxy and the other was um, dry hopped with Ella. So to, uh, you would have already watched the initial tasting video um, that kind of happened I would say about a week after I kegged it. Um, so I'm kind of towards the end of the keg. I have another experiment going um, that's finishing up fermentation probably within the next few days. Um, I'm going to end up raising the temperature a little bit uh, just to help clean up the beer a little bit more and then I'm going to cold crash for a couple days and hopefully the kegs will be empty by that point and then I can um, put the new porter in there and do, uh, do some tasting tastings with it. Um, but let's get started on the final tasting. I'm going to try and keep the glasses the same um, just for ease of making it, I don't know, just making it easier for myself. So we're going to pour the Galaxy first. Alright. So here is that one. It's got a very nice head on the top. Hazy, golden color. Smelling a lot more citrus. Citrusy notes. Um, well, let's pour Ella. Hmm. Alright, so. Head on this one is also... See if I can get out of frame and it will lock onto that. No. This one seems more carbonated. There's more bubbles on the side. Still a golden color. Definitely can't see through it. I'm getting more of a like a grapefruit citrus note, not just a general citrus, but like kind of grapefruity. A slight hint of that bubblegumness that I was talking about in my initial video. Um, actually, no, it's kind of going away. Yeah, so just kind of take a look at that. The head is pretty good. It's definitely smelling of grapefruit, citrus. Um, but let's uh, taste Galaxy first. Cheers. It's crazy to me. I was really worried about this beer messing up um, because I messed up the water profile on Beersmith, but they actually turned out surprisingly a lot better than I thought tasting the gravity sample um, after fermentation. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I had, didn't really share this with anybody this time just because I was nervous. I didn't. I knew that there was it wouldn't be exactly what people were looking for. Um, it just, I clearly messed up on the water salt. Um, it happens in home brewing. Every beer can't be perfect, but it's still good. Um, you can't, I mean, I can tell because I focused on it. The only person I let try this was my dad, and he was like, wow, this is good, but he likes Miller and Coors Light, so his palate's probably not that uh, tuned to craft beer anyways. But this is definitely full body. You can kind of get a uh, bready note. Um, it's not overly, it's not overly like pronounced the bready note. Um, it's kind of just like right in the back a little bit. If you let it sit on your tongue for a little while, you get it. But um, there's also no lasting bitterness on the back of your tongue. It definitely tastes of citrus. Carbonation levels on point, exactly what I would picture. I'm really excited to retry this beer um, and kind of see what would happen if I actually get the water profile correct. Because um, I was trying to follow a um, 
a just a New England IPA, heavy on calcium, um, low on sulfate type water profile. Um, Burton on Trent water, I think, was the one that I used. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's get into Ella. Again, citrusy. We'll cheers real quick. Cheers. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of taste of the bubble gum type taste. This Ella one is way more fruity. Um, the Galax Galaxy version is super dry. I don't want to say super dry. It's definitely more dry than this. This one, you take a sip, you get punched in the mouth with fruit flavor. Um, and I don't think it's a lot of es ester production um, from fermentation because I keep my uh, fermentation pretty much within one to two degrees. Um, I haven't had a lot of fluctuation um, higher than the 67 to 68 range. So I know it's not because of fermenting too high. I think it just might be the yeast strain. Um, I believe if I'm correct, I did the SO4 on this one. I might be getting them backwards. Um, I need to do a better job of labeling my my uh, kegs and kind of tell more of like the yeast strain and stuff I use. I know this has Ella in it. Um, that's the one thing I did mark on the keg. But um, yeah, so let's... Uh, Definitely full body, but I don't get a super bread note. Um, like I said, I just get punched in the mouth with a big juice bomb, basically. Uh, citrusy, I definitely taste some grapefruit in there. Um, carbonation level, exactly the same as that, obviously. They're on the same CO2. Um, I'm actually relatively happy with, with these, given what I know happened, like I said before. It's, it's not undrinkable and not unpleasant, like I was thinking when I first took the gravity reading. I actually poured the gravity readings out because I didn't want to drink it because it was so salty. Um, but the salt content has either settled out, um, and I'll get it on the last one, or it's just kind of mellowed out now that it's had time to age in the keg. I'm going for one more. Yeah. Super, super fruity. Which is nice. Um, yeah, so that ends the, the final tasting. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Don't feel free to comment or do feel free to comment. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, keep checking back. Appreciate everything. Appreciate all everybody that watches this. Um, this is really fun. And uh, definitely keep checking back. Cheers.